Hi guys! Um, a lot of you have been asking about uh, bunny pet portraits, so I'm going to show you one really quick. Um, this was from one of my customers a while ago. Um, I asked her if I could use her picture for a video and she said yes. So we're going to do a little Reba here. Um, this is what it came out when I did it the first time. So you can kind of see what the end pro um, product is going to be. And then we're just going to try to recreate that. I'm going to show you what steps I took. Um, to start, I did a 2500 by 2500 canvas. And then I inserted my pictures. So to do that, you would go to the tool. And you go to add. And then you can go to either insert a file or insert a photo. And then we have this on our first layer. So we are going to take this and we're going to press the letter. And we're going to turn the opacity down. If you want in-depth, um, episodes one and two, I do in-depth um, tutorials on how to do this style right here. So this one's I'm just going to focus on the bunny. So we're on layer two, and I like to use the 6B sketching brush, which comes on Procreate. And make sure you're on a new layer. And then I like to start with the eyes generally. Um, this was maybe one of the first bunny portraits I did, and it turned out pretty good. Um, let's see, I'm turn the size down. So depending on your canvas, we'll change the size of your brush. So let's try 67. It's a little big. Okay, 49%. Okay, and then sketch the eye. Her eyes are a little bit more almond shape. Let's get that almond shape in here. Okay. And get her little finger here. And I just go with the textures. So they have eyebrows up here. So I'm going to get some textured eyebrow up there. And then we get her pupil. And I'm going to get a little bit of texture around the eye too. And I like to go in and use this and go all the way up to the corner to get some white. I like to add some highlight into the eye. Like that. And I go all the way down back to black. And then let's do the nose. You can go to any part you want. I generally always start on the eye, just because I like to get that done out of the way. <laughs> and then let's go down to the nose here. Thick on that side, on this side. I'm much more comfortable with dog anatomy, but I have recently got a bunny, and everybody was asking about bunny pet portraits, so I figured I should do one for you guys. Okay, do some of the fur over here. I'm going to do a couple lines just to break up the line right here to get some furs. I'm going to block out her nose right here, some fuzzes. And it gets kind of fuzzy up here, so let's get some fuzzies. And her cheek right here. So I'm just going to go like that and get her cheek on this side. And it's kind of fuzzy over here, so I'm going to add some little fuzzes over there. And then her face kind of goes in right here and then sticks out in the middle. So I'm going to give it some depth so you can kind of see where all the depth is right here. I'm going to go out right here and do the same thing over here. A little round, so make a little bit more triangular. Um, I like when I do pet portraits. Um, you can do the animal facing straight, but I think it's kind of interesting sometimes to do animals at different angles, which I'll show you after this because I did a pet couple of these in different angles. I think it just makes it more unique looking, more fun to look at. Okay, it goes down right here, and then she's kind of fuzzy, so I don't want just like a solid line like that. I want to make sure we break it up with some lines and add some fuzzes in there too. Like that. And then the ear is pretty smooth, so I will do a little bit more smooth over here, but still break it up with a couple fuzzes here and there. A couple fuzzes in her ear. And so the inside of her ear is pretty fuzzy. So I'll do more fuzzes and then smooth it right here. Like that. And then the pink. And then we're going to go to the top of her little head. And 
think she's pretty fuzzy over here. And this is her ear. Gets, um, I don't want to just go like that. I want to show the depth between the ear right here because it's kind of hard to see because she's white. So I'm going to add some fuzzies right here. So you can see that compared to the body. And I'm going to do it inside of her ear right here. And that's pretty smooth. So I'm going to do this mostly smooth. And it gets a little bit fuzzier down here. And then her smooth ear, the little fuzzes. And she kind of goes in right there. I kind of want to add some fuzzies right here. Okay. Then we're going to... So usually for dogs and cats, this part of their nose right here is a different texture or a different color. So I usually add some texture like that around these little nose bits and add some right there well I guess I did do a little smaller there we go okay and then I'm going to do a little bit of her body so it doesn't just look like a floating head so let's add a little bit of her body over here it's kind of fuzzy so we'll go like that and we'll bring it down it's not that that fluffy. All right, there we go. And then we're going to do her little chest over here also so it's not a floating head. You want to add a little bit of the other body parts. And she's pretty fuzzy down here, so we'll add some fuzzes. And give it some depth by doing different layers of fuzzes. Kind of goes up right there. Okay, so there's her. Now what I like to do once I get my main outline over here is I will go to the layer we just drew on, swipe it to the left and hit duplicate, which just boldens up the, letter, the lines that we drew. And I pinch them together to combine those. And then I will create another layer. You don't have to do this, just my style. And then, so like over here, I put some squigglies. Um, I just like to sometimes add some extra little sketch marks just to make it look more sketched. Like this, you don't have to. But that's just what I like to do, make it look more depth. And then usually I'll add my initials, which also you don't have to do. But I just do that. It looks like I missed a piece right here. Ooh, way too big. There we go. Man, I missed a lot of pieces. That was messy. Alright, there we go. Then we go, you can combine those little sketchy layers onto your other draw layer if you would like. Okay, now we're going to create a new layer. And we're going to go back to our picture right here. And we're going to click it. And we're going to use our arrow. And we're going to make that a little bit smaller. And we're going to put it over here in the corner. Like that. And you can hit the letter and make it full color again. Okay, and then from that right there, we're going to create a new layer that's underneath of your two sketching layers. And now for this, I like to use watercolor brushes, which I've talked about. Trailhead watercolor brushes, you can use any watercolor brushes or any brush that you would like. Um, let's see. Just the one that I happen to get. Trailhead watercolor brushes. Yep. Oh, wait. Is that the one? Oh, I got, oh, this one I used the ultimate trailhead watercolor brush. The dried out brush is my favorite. Then you can use whatever ones you want. Um, okay, so we're going to see what size this is. It's a little bit smaller. Okay. I like this because you can see that it makes it look more textured and realistic. Okay, so now that we're underneath our sketch layer, I like to come over to the picture and I like to hold my finger and I like to color pick the main color for the bunny. She's she's white, but she also, you know, white and black animals aren't just black or white. You know, lots of shades on them. So I'm just going to pick medium shade, probably like right here. And then I'm just going to fill in her whole body. Okay. Um, you don't want to go like this and then go like that because it will make three different colors. You want to hold your brush down the whole time. So I'm just going to fill in the whole bunny with the color that we picked. Okay. 
holding my brush down. That, so that'll be our base color. I'm going to go use the selection tool right here. Oh, this one right here. Arrow. I'm going to go to warp. And I'm just going to push in the color. I like to have this negative space between the sketch and the bunny. It gives it more of a... I like the look of it. You can do it however you want. That's how I like to do it. Okay. And then I create a new layer on top of our base layer. And I'm going to make our brush just a little bit smaller now. And look at this. And we have some tans right here, darker colors. I'm going to color pick that. And I'm going to fill in the darker parts of her face, like over here. The darker areas, I'm going to fill that in. With that color. It's a little bit thick, so I'm going to turn the opacity down a little bit. That looks better. Remember, hold your brush down. Fill in the shadowy areas here. It's going to be shadow from the ear right here. So this part will be lighter and the back part over here will be a little bit darker. That. Of course this area will be a little bit darker. The parts that we sketched I want to go over. And the nose is a little bit darker. And under here, it's going to be shadow from her face. And go over the parts we sketched over there. And her body. And I'll put a little bit. You do circles so you don't get too strong of lines. Okay, and then she has some pinks. So let's pick the pink around her eye right here. See what color that looks like. Let's make that brush a little bit smaller, a little bit more opaque. A little bit more. I'm gonna try to make this a little bit pinker. Try that. Okay, I like that color. So now she has some pink on her eye, so I'm gonna put some pink on the eye part. Right here. And I'm doing this on the same layer that I just did the dark brown. So we have base layer right here, and then we have the other layer, the detail layers right here. And her ear has some pink in it, so let's add some pink in her ear. Make circles with the watercolor brushes like this. Her nose, which I'm gonna make, I'm gonna change the opacity just a little bit, because her nose is just a little bit pink, lighter pink. I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger. Just a little pink on her nose, like that, and around her little nosey. And it looks kind of pink from the reflection from this over ear over here, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of pink over here, like that. Okay, and her ear looks a little bit pinky, so I might add a little bit of pink on her ear. Her fur is kind of thin. You can get as detailed with it as you want. All right, I think I might add just a little bit more dark shadows where all the shadowy parts are. So let's see, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna color pick this dark shadowy color right here. Let's see what that looks. Let's turn the opacity up a little bit more. And let's turn it down. That looks good, maybe a little bit more. I'm just gonna add a little bit more shadows on here. Just on the shadowy parts. A little bit right here. Make those definitely more shadowy. And under her skin. Over here. This is definitely shadowy over here. Okay, okay now we're gonna do the shadowy parts. Let's see. Make my brush a little bit bigger. Make it a little bit more opaque here. And a little bit smaller. Alright, I'm just going to add some shadows in here real quick. Some more shadows. Put some there. Some on her little nose. A few more up here. Around her little eyes. Down here. Here, the ear. And over here. Alright. Now I'm going 
to do her eyes. So for this one, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to turn this back up to full opacity, make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm going to color pick from her eye. And I'm going to color that in. And I'm going to color pick the next lighter color over here. And I'm going to color some of that in. Like that. And she has like super light blue right here. It's kind of gray, so I'm going to go over to a little bit more blue. And put that in there. And I'm going to color pick some white to add some highlights to it here. Not too dark. Light. Light. Okay, and then her eye is right there. And then I'm going to add some of these um, white sketch highlights, which I like to add on there too to give it texture. So for that, I'm going to create another new layer. And I'm going to go back to my recent brushes and my back to my 6B pencil brush right here. Make sure I'm on white, and then I'm just going to add some of these white sketches to these areas. Which you can watch episode one or two, and I in depth explain how I choose all this. A little bit in here, that it's over her eye. You can add some into her eye, and let's give her some white freckles. On either side. I'd like to add them in here. Her ear definitely needs some. Her right here. Her ear right here. Okay. That looks pretty good. And I might add, make the colors a little bit stronger. So I'm going to go to my detail watercolor layer. I'm going to slide it over and hit duplicate just to darken the colors. And I'm just going to turn that opacity down just a little bit. And I might do the same with my base layer. Just to make it a little bit darker. Like that. And then you have your bunny sketch. Then you create another new layer. You can grab it and drag it underneath all your other layers. And you can add the watercolor drips. So I'm going to combine all my layers by pinching them together here. Now that I'm done. And then I'm going to create another layer underneath right here. And I like to use me my ultimate watercolor brushes from the Trailhead Company. And I like to use the, there's all kinds of watercolor brushes, they're just ones I use. The single drip um, brush. And I just color pick from somewhere on the bunny, usually a, the darkest or the second darkest color. And then put some dots on her. Like that. Actually, I'm going to move the bunny up a little bit. I'm going to go back to uniform and move her up a little bit like this. And I'm going to move my watercolor drops up a little bit. Like that. Then I create another layer. And I'm going to use the paint runs, which is also in the Trailhead um, watercolor brushes. Make it a little bit smaller here. Select it once you put it on there. If it's on a new layer. You can only you'll only move that piece. And I'm gonna put this one right there. And then I'm gonna use another one. Put this one. Oh. So you create a new layer for each paint drip that you do, so you can move them separately. Okay. Did I not? Oh, helps if I actually do it instead of just talking about it. There we go. And I'm going to put that one on her ear. I'm going to warp it to fit to her ear better like that. And then I'm going to turn off her picture and then you can add the name. So to do the name you would pick your color you go to the tool and you go to add text and you can buy fonts to put on here. You double tap and then I bought a few fonts. Um, let's do copper plate, which is like the font they use on dog tags and stuff sometimes. Just to make it different. And I'm going to put Reba. Actually, let's see. Okay, that one is blank. It, I'm pretty sure it's the cottage font, 
but I must have installed it goofy because when I installed it, it didn't put the name on there. Alright, that's a pretty one. And then you put her name right there. And then your bunny pet portrait is done. And you go to the tool, you can go to share, and you can export as a JPEG or a PNG, and you would save it to your AirDrop or your Google Drive, which I use my Google Drive, or you could save it just to your iPad. All right, and then if you want the PNG, you just turn off the background, and then you would have your PNG version. Okay, thanks for watching.